Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new to this channel. Today we're going to be making liquid soap from scratch. Now making liquid soap is really easy but you do have to remember one thing though. You have to be very careful because you're going to be working with lye and lye is very caustic and it can cause severe burns to your skin or surfaces so you want to keep it away from children, pets and probably your husband. So today we're going to be using potassium hydroxide lye because that's the one that's used for making liquid with soap and we're gonna need a crock pot and I don't like making big batches of soap so I'm gonna be using this three quarts crock pot and guys you want to make sure that you have a designated crock pot for your soap making because there will be some chemical reactions coming from lye and you don't want any of that be mixed in with your food later on and this recipe will produce about a little bit more than half a gallon of soap at the end but I will show you at the end of the video exactly how much it will make so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna measure our oils and we're gonna need 200 grams of coconut oil, 250 grams of olive oil, 50 grams of castor oil and we're gonna start warming them up in the crock pot on high setting. After that we're going to measure 271 grams of water and you want to make sure it's distilled water. The reason to use distilled water is so that your soap doesn't grow any mold in it. And at this point you want to put your mask on, your glasses and your gloves to protect yourself. And then we're going to measure our lye. For liquid soap we use potassium hydroxide or KOH and we're going to need 116 grams of that. And now we're ready to mix our lye into water and I like to do it slowly so that it doesn't splash. It's going to make a loud crackling noise and it's going to bubble so just don't panic and you also want to make sure that you're in a well ventilated area so that you don't inhale the fumes now that our oils have melted we're going to add our lye solution and we're going to do it very carefully and very slowly so that it doesn't splash And we're going to start mixing it with a spoon and then we're going to switch to a stick blender and we're going to be mixing it until it's very very thick and looks like taffy. It took me about 25 minutes to get to the taffy stage. And first it's just going to get thicker and then get to the trace and we just continue blending until it's even thicker. And then it's going to look like mashed potatoes. And at this stage it's very very thick but we're not done yet. So just keep mixing. So at this stage my stick blender wouldn't even work, the blades wouldn't even turn, so it's so thick that it's definitely we're done mixing. It does look like taffy. And we're just gonna let it sit in the crock pot on low setting until it reaches gel stage. I somehow missed the gel stage. I cooked my soap for an hour and a half and it started to harden really fast. So I'm just going to break it up into smaller pieces and I'm going to do clarity tests to 
make sure that the soap is cooked enough. And the way you do the clarity test, you take a little bit of soap and you mix it in with a little bit of water. And if the water stays clear, then your soap is done cooking. And once again, you want to use distilled water because if you don't, if you use the tap water, your test may fail. And every time you will try to test your soap, it will look cloudy. It looks like our soap is done cooking because the water is clear. And I think we're ready for the next step. Which is adding water to our soap. Once again, you want to use distilled water. I like to use 2 to 1 ratio with two parts of water and one part of soap. In this recipe, our soap weighted 750 grams, so I'm going to add 1500 grams of water, which actually will end up filling the crock pot all the way up. And I'm going to break it up into smaller pieces so that it dissolves easier. And we're going to let it sit on warm setting in the crock pot until it's fully dissolved. So my soap dissolved five hours later, but it was late at night, so I just let it sit overnight in the crock pot. I turned it off and I let it sit overnight and this is what it looks like first thing in the morning. Now we're ready to bottle our soap. It may look a little thin, but it's supposed to thicken later on. But I like my soap thin anyways. I like to store my soap in glass jars and I mix my essential oils later on, right before I'm ready to use the soap. But you can actually add your essential oils right now, 1-2% to 2 of essential oils. In this recipe, 1% would be about 24 grams of essential oils. And this recipe ended up making about 0.63 of a gallon of soap, which is a little bit more than half a gallon, but a little bit less than three quarters of a gallon. And that's how you make soap. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Otherwise, stay well and I will see you in the next video.